the Lockheed Martin, F-35. Lightning II is a name that echoes through the halls of military power and across the pages of defense journals. It is, on the surface, a fighter jet. But to call it just that is like calling a smartphone just a telephone. It misses the entire point. The F-35 represents a monumental shift in aerial warfare technology, a flying supercomputer wrapped in a stealthy lethal package. It's a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft. That's a mouthful but it means it's designed to do almost everything, from dogfighting other jets, to destroying targets on the ground, all while remaining nearly invisible to enemy radar. It is this combination of capabilities that has captured the world's attention. Why all the interest? Because the F-35 isn't just an upgrade, it's a fundamental reimagining of what a fighter pilot can see, do, and control in a conflict. It was built to be the cornerstone of air power for the United States and its closest allies for the next half century. Its development has been long, incredibly expensive, and filled with controversy, making it a lightning rod for public and political debate. Yet, for the air forces that fly it, the F-35 is seen as an indispensable tool for maintaining a technological edge over potential adversaries. It's not just about speed or firepower anymore, it's about information and the F-35 is the ultimate information gatherer and distributor in the sky. The story of the F-35 begins in the late 1990s with a grand and ambitious idea. The United States military looked at its aging fleet of fighter and attack aircraft, legends like the F-16 Falcon, the A-10 Warthog, the F-A-18 Hornet, and the AV-8 Bravo Harrier, and saw a looming problem. Maintaining so many different types of planes was a logistical nightmare. Each required its own unique parts, its own specialized mechanics, and its own training pipeline. The Pentagon dreamed of a solution, a single, flexible aircraft platform that could replace them all, or at least most of them. This was the birth of the Joint Strike Fighter program. The goal was immense. The program sought to create one core design that could be adapted into three distinct variants for the Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy, along with key international partners like the United Kingdom. Two competing teams, one led by Boeing with its X-32 concept and the other by Lockheed Martin with its X-35, were chosen to build and fly demonstrators to prove their designs. In 2001 after a hard-fought competition, Lockheed Martin's X-35 was declared the winner. When people talk about the F-35, the first word that often comes to mind is stealth. But stealth is not a magical cloak of invisibility like something out of a Harry Potter movie. It is a carefully engineered suite of technologies designed to drastically reduce an aircraft's signature, making it incredibly difficult for an enemy to detect, track, and shoot at. The F-35 was designed from the ground up for what is known as very low observability. This means it is built to be sneaky across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, not just against radar. It's about being quiet in every sense of the word. The most visible aspect of this is the jet's shape. The F-35's airframe is a collection of carefully angled panels, sharp edges and blended surfaces. There are no right angles. These shapes are not for aesthetics. They are designed to deflect incoming radar waves away from the radar receiver, rather than reflecting them back. Think of it like a faceted diamond. When light hits it, the light scatters in all directions instead of bouncing straight back. The F-35 does the same thing with radar energy. The jet's engine is also buried deep within the fuselage and its exhaust nozzle is shaped to cool and mask the intense heat, reducing its infrared signature for heat-seeking missiles. Beyond its shape, the F-35 is coated in a special skin known as radar-absorbent material. This high-tech paint and coating acts like a sponge for radar waves. When radar energy hits the surface of the jet, the radar-absorbent material absorbs a significant portion of it, converting it into a tiny amount of heat and preventing it from bouncing back to the enemy's receiver.